See, when God came, he didn't come like the prophets come. See, when the prophets come, they're mild and meek. They're preaching to worldly people. I think y'all should behave. <laughs> Why don't y'all straighten up? God told me, and they usually end up getting crucified. <laughs> Lynch, because after a while the wicked get tired of hearing all that preaching. Right. Yeah, they want to gamble and engage in all kinds of licentiousness and evil. Here's, here's this cat over here preaching about what God said. So then they usually just gather him up and lynch him. <laughs> Put a stop to that kind of preaching. But now when he comes, well, See, when God himself comes, yeah. he ain't coming like that. That's right. See how wise he is? He launched the mother of planes before he came. Right. That's right. The day that he launched the mother of planes, and some say, well, what's the mother of planes? Oh, it's a man-made planet. Right. It's a weapon of destruction to destroy the current world. Yes, sir. God ain't fooling. He ain't come to negotiate. Could you imagine God sitting down at the negotiating table with Bush? What's there to negotiate? Now he come to destroy them. And he shows the weapon that he devised or that has the ability to destroy them. The mother of planes a half mile by a half mile. Got 1,500 little baby planes that they call flying saucers. They was talking about it last night on Larry King. Wondering whether they're from some planet. They're not from some, yeah, they're from a planet. They're from this planet. There's some aliens on there, little black men. That if you saw one of them, uh, you would like to disrespect. But actually, they are the agents of your destruction. And at a moment's notice, they go into action and they could wrap up America uh, just like that. Don't think it's going to be no big fight. So we, got, we got Master Farad Muhammad. And, and seven of the major scientists on our side, right. plus the mother plane and the baby plane. Right. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said one time that America is like a little mouse right. in between seven hungry cats. Oh. Ain't, ain't a meal for even one cat. <laughs> Go ahead. So ain't no problem taking America down. As you can see, she can't even handle uh, the little business over there in Iraq. Right. Them little misguided Muslims over in Iraq and Afghanistan. Right. Half of them can't read and write. Right. She can't handle them. Can't handle them. Now, what about the Lord of the World? Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. So when he launched the mother of planes, then the stock market fell. They call that Black Monday. See, because when God goes up, the devil got to go down. He puts on his money in God we trust. He don't mean the God of righteousness. He means money is his God. So when the real God launches himself up, then that false God got to take a tumble. Next slide. When he came, America was the breadbasket of the world. Her great wealth was based on her ability to produce agricultural products. And she had used food as a weapon. But when he came, Master Farad Muhammad, he brought drought to America. Just like the one you're having now. Yes, sir. Where America is drying up, That's right. burning up, 
But in the 30s, they called it the, the dust bowl. Yes, sir. Where it got so dry that the topsoil was like dust. That's right. And then Allah caused a strong wind to blow from the west unto the east and blew all of America's topsoil away from her agricultural area and put all the topsoil in the Atlantic Ocean. Right. Come on. Destroying her ability to feed you. Yes, sir. You ain't hear what I said. Yes, sir. Bringing famine into the land. America does not have the ability since that time to produce the right food. Her chemical magicians said we can use chemicals to trick the plants into growing even though a plant is not supposed to grow according to chemicals, a plant is supposed to have its root in topsoil right. that is full of uh, minerals right. and other nutrients so then the plant can produce the food that it was uh, created to produce right. to nourish the lives of human beings. Right. But the devil, who is the master of trichnology, he figured out some chemicals that will trick the plants into growing and producing what looks like corn, what looks like wheat, like, that looks like apples, that looks like vegetables, but in fact it's some tricked up, grafted kind of food that does not have in it the life-sustaining qualities of real food. Yes, sir. So that's why when you look in America today, you see the physical degeneration of the people. That's right. Not just of the black people, but the white people themselves. You see the physical degeneration of their bodies. Obesity, diabetes, hypertension, stroke, heart disease, arthritis, mental disorder, depression, all brought about because they are eating a devitalized food that does not have the ability to sustain human life. That's why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, get your mouth out of the white man's kitchen. Because the white man's kitchen has been blasted by Allah. Yes. Do you think that Allah wants the devil to get credit for feeding you? Come on. <laughs> you God's people, but the devil feeds you. Right. <laughs> no, he destroyed his ability to feed you. Yeah. And you are destroying your ability to participate in the kingdom of God or raising the kingdom of God because eating the devil's food has you in such a condition that you're too tired to do this work. See, that's why, Minister Tony, you can't hardly get the cooperation that you need. The people's too tired. They just like the lessons. They talk about Master Farah Muhammad's uncle and aunt. That's right. They got pain in all their joints. That's right. They come into the barn. <laughs> and all they can do is just fall down in a heap in a chair. And you preaching the fire down from heaven. <laughs> trying to motivate them to do this work. They too tired. All they want to do is, is go home and eat first. <laughs> then sleep. With the television on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can't hardly get no participation. See, eating the wrong food makes you non-productive. Right. You can't produce nothing. Right. You're too tired to produce something. Come on. You're so tired, you can't keep your eyes open. Man. You can't keep your mind focused on one thing long enough to actually accomplish it. That's because Allah killed the white man's agriculture. Right. And you haven't built the black man's agriculture yet. So you're just starving to death. 
Yes. And you're going to keep starving until you die yes. or else build a ministry of agriculture. Yes, sir.